<laughs> Good evening, peddlers. Now, hopefully you can hear me. At least someone put in the comments that you can hear me okay. Because <laughs> um, I'm sure you can. Um, hey, look at this. This is unbelievable. We've got 60 odd people here already. How is everybody? Um, now then, format wise, <clears throat> I don't know. The most important thing by the sounds of it is who's got a beer on the go? <laughs> hmm. I can see some of you have also got some first beer, Jagman7. He's got his first beer down already. Uh, 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 Paul, now, first question for Paul. Have I forgiven Mrs. Pepperbed for curbing my alloys? Of course I have. She got them fixed. So that was it. That was it. <laughs> and, and did a brilliant job as well. Honestly, I, I cannot see where the repair was. I have had a look. I've been and had a look, but I can't see where the, where the repair was. Um, how are we all feeling tonight? Is everybody happy? And um, there's an amazing, amazing group of you online. Um, <laughs> massive Costa on the go, Pete. <laughs> um, oh, Neil, you've got a bottle of Snowden Summit on the go as well. In fact, I am drinking Snowden Summit. <laughs> Fantastic. Look how many people we've got here. Now, I haven't really got a... Now, I did, was going to do dry January, but that lasted not even till the first day of January. Colton Cleveringer, you are a hero. So it is 1 p.m. Um, uh, in America. So uh, no drinks. You've got to finish work, first of all. Uh, Mark, can, if you could electrify any car, what would it be? Um, a classic Mini, but there might be one of those coming soon. Um Oh, Matthew Willoughby, great to... Oh, you're one of the Caterham grads um, racing with me at Silverstone. Mate, it, what an epic experience that was. I really hope to do some more racing next year. Um, uh, Alan Deacon, who would win a general knowledge quiz, me or Mrs. Petrov? I have to be careful because she's in the next room. Um... <laughs> oh, Carmen, you're cold. Warm up, my darling, warm up. Um... Alan Carter, hello. Philip Parks, hello, Mr. Philip. We missed our revival uh, catch-up last year. Hopefully, we'll do it again this year. Uh, Andrew Davis, you're having a cup of tea. Good form. Very good form. Um, Dave Morris, you're having a Stella. I do like a pint of wife beater, I must say. Um, Richard Clark, two orders from Snowden Craft Beer. Lovely beers. I bet you've, I bet you've drank them all as well. Ah, Francois G, what do I think about the Alpine and Lotus partnership to build an EV? I think that's really exciting. But the one that's really exciting for me today is the news about Renault bringing back the Renault 5 as an EV. I don't know if you've seen the, um, the shots of it. It looks absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Mark Kenton, would you electrify a 928 GTS? No, but, but we might do a 944 S2. Um, giving away all the great cars for, uh, uh, what else have we got? Just driven my son's JCW 210 home from work. Oh, Peter Randall, JCW 210, absolute brilliant challenge, 210s. Chunky Loza, hello, my friend, how are you? Um, who else have we got here? Um, uh, da, 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 Carl Lamb, hi. Uh, our Millsy 77, good evening. Lewis Hunter, good evening, mate. Tom Quigley Art. Matthew Cumberland, how many have we got online? We've got 165 people online. This is unbelievable. I hope everybody's having a really great Friday evening, by the way. Um, I might even, if you're really lucky, see that. That's my radio control car. I'll give you an update in a moment. Um, uh, thought on the new uh, Toyota GR. Uh, I haven't actually seen that, to be honest. Oh, um, Jim Hutton, why haven't we got doors on the barn to keep the cars in? Um, we have actually got planning to convert that into a full get a double garage and, and everything, but we bought a house in Cornwall instead, and it's quite expensive to do, but we will do it one day. We do have planning to put doors and make that a really nice garage with a gym above it and an office and everything. Um, uh, Robert Lombardi from High from Essex. Uh, uh, do I plan to still host a car and coffee meet? Yes. As soon as the car uh, restrictions allow, I will be doing a meet and greet. I'm not sure. I'm going to maybe think of the National Motor Museum um, up, up in the middle somewhere or, or um, uh, somewhere like that. Uh, who else have we got? Simon Davy. Hello, my friend. Dave, Darren Parry. This is like, is the e-tron charging up? Now, no, the e-tron isn't charging up. Actually, it's just parked outside. I have the most insane car garage outside 
Uh, I've got an e-tron and an M2 CS <laughs> parked outside at the moment. Lots and lots of Omega content coming soon. Um, uh, Glasgow lockdown again. Oh, no. I thought well, we're all locked down, aren't we, really? Um, I have a case of Peroni chilling in the fridge. Andy Hopton, I like your style. Um, how good are the cars at Lanzanti? I know, Andrew Davis, the two Tamiya ones are amazing. The Lanzanti showroom is amazing to drive past and be through because they always have amazing cars in there. Uh, the, the petrol pups are next door asleep on the beanbag. Um, Dickie McVitie, good evening, my friend. How are you, sir? Montego Blitz, hello, Greece. Let's see who's the furthest away. We've got, we've got Colton in America. Uh, we've got someone in Greece. Uh, um, now, Jerry can smash it. How is my mate in North Wales doing? Uh, Taff, the proprietor of Snowden Craft Beer, he's doing very, very well. We absolutely, oh, we did brilliantly. We sold so much beer for him, and it really did make a big difference. So to everybody who ordered some Snowden Craft Beer, a massive thank you. Simon Davey, someone asked, it's just here. Have I finished the Tamiya yet? <laughs> I think you can tell. Uh, no. <laughs> so uh, basic state of play, we have front suspension completely um, assembled uh, with oil dampened shocks. Rear suspension is assembled, uh, but I need to put the shocks on. The next thing is to put the roll cage, all the electrics and, and the electronics are inside. I could put the roll cage on and I've got to paint the body shell um, and put all the decals on. And then I, I think that's probably about two or three hours worth of work uh, left to go, I think. So that's, uh, that's the state of play on the old Tamiya. Um, car creations, two dislikes already. I know some people you just can't, you know, some people just don't get it. Um, anyway, I don't care because Google doesn't really care. A, 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 it's an interaction. Um, uh, Pete Randall, good beer. It is indeed good beer. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, Martin Lewis, you're, you're in West Hampton. That's about four miles in that direction. That's not very far away. Uh, Matty LF1, uh, how much are you missing Goodwood? Um, massively. I think we all are. Um, but the, the, there is a, a good chance if we can get the rollout of the, the um, vaccine and stuff, we will see events at, at Goodwood this year. That would be amazing. I think we'll all just we'll enjoy them even more for having missed them last year. Chris Bat, do you do need to build a Tamiya kit? They're, they're not hard work. They're, they're just really great engineering. Building the gearboxes is very intricate. Um, uh, um, Kevy427, um, yes, um, I have taken the M2CS out for a spin yet, but you need to send me an email because I want you to install a charge point for the e-tron, uh, and I want you to do it the week after next, and I was trying to find you, so I'm really glad you're online. Uh, put it in, put, put, um, <laughs> Um, so, yeah, now M2CS is amazing. All I would say is it's on cup twos and it's quite wet and quite slippy. Um, so it's a bit, a bit, a bit hairy. <laughs> Oakhampton on them. Oh, that's lovely. Oakhampton. There's so many questions coming in. This is brilliant. Uh, would you do a meet and greet type thing when the Corona is done? Yeah, we've covered that one. Yes, definitely. Bikes, dogs and cars. Oh, by the way, um, I'll just move my laptop. I've got my bike inside now. My torture chamber is ready for some some turbo training. Um, so yes, um, <laughs> uh, hoping Goodwood does an auto solo end of February. So am I, because um, I've got a title to to regain. Um, have, have I ever driven an M two forty? I haven't actually, Chris. No. Um, uh, the M two. Uh, I've driven the M two Comp and the M two CS. Um, you, oh, Tim Newbury got a nice whiskey on the go. I like your style. Cars for Paul. My Tammy a dream car. Was the Midnight Pumpkin? Yes, that was a brilliant one. Um, how about classic? Uh, oh, car creations. Thank you very much. Someone's just um, uh, given me a little bit of a. Uh, you can. There's a. There's a. There's a donation thing at the bottom. I didn't even find this out until um, I'd done one of these. But thank you very much, my friend. Um, any more, Chris Baxter? Any more modifications planned for the mini? Um, the Roadster, I need to get a big brake fit, uh, kit fitted. Um, and the Clubman, I've got a few minor things, but they are um, uh, quite quite small things. There should be one coming soon, actually, in terms of a video. Uh, are the pups going to make an appearance tonight, VXR? About it? They're actually asleep next door, so I might not disturb them. Um, uh, because there's 220 people online. This is unbelievable. By the way, um, there is a new uh, Leader of the Pack 2021 t-shirt in being designed at the moment. 
it will be hitting control and shift very soon. Um, too early for a Jim Beam, Mark Evans. Never too early for a Jim Beam. Uh, do you think Lewis will sign a contract with Mercedes? I hope so, um, but I don't know. Ah, Damien, Motorsport and Dreamcast. Good evening, sir. How are you, my friend? Um, Rob Mason, hello. Uh, Natasha Mason, hello. It's a double family watching. Um, uh, Carmen Clark, when do you expect to get the Model Y? Well, uh, you can't buy them in the UK yet. So as soon as you can order one, which I believe is going to be later this year, um, we will we will be doing that. Um, oh, man, the, 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 <laughs> the comments go so fast. I'm, I'm to read. Um, Am I doing a famous five T-shirt? There is one actually. Uh, yes, blue mini, one blue mini. We are trying to design a nice one. VXR Bandit, thank you very, very much. You are amazing, absolutely amazing. Thank you, uh, Pete. Uh, do I still horse ride? Or oh, you can see my horse riding Ooh, up there. Um, I, I uh, haven't ridden for about eighteen months. I think too. I was riding, or had the opportunity to ride a friend's horse. Um, but that's not available at the moment. So, no, not not for a while. But I do miss it. It was amazing. Um, Scott T, wish me luck fitting a new alternator to the MX-5 of the week. And good luck, mate. <laughs> Better. <laughs> I'm glad it's you, not me. Um, yes, uh, Senna F1. Love the uh, Vegas yellow R8. Was an amazing, amazing car, I must admit. It was quite special. Um, uh, Francois G, what are my plans for this year? Now, uh, I can't give too much away. Next Friday's video is very, very, very special. Um, so uh, you need to tune in for that because that's an amazing opportunity coming. Um, I've got Cycle Sunday, the series of videos around specking my dream road bike. Um, they will be That will be coming to the channel on a Sunday. So we're going to be getting four videos a week. Um, but that we, we've just got to wait for a few things. But that will be coming very, very soon. Um, so they're two really big things. And then hopefully we'll start getting some um uh foreign trips and and press trips and things um uh da, 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 what else have we got here um i'm trying to find okay <laughs> petrol ped enclosure at goodwood that uh, would be amazing i'll certainly if there's a goodwood event we'll definitely do a goodwood a, a meet and greet at one of the events for sure um now oh, rob mason the oh Lee Averson, you are. Thank you very, very much. Um, that's very, very kind. Yes, the, there is a, a, a rear roof spoiler um, for uh, JCW Clubman, um, and I like it very much. So, uh, Stevie 007, thank you so much. Um, yes, yeah, so I might look into that for sure. Um, Octane Parker, random one, Ed China or Am Anstead? Uh, Am Anstead, Ed China is completely mad. Um, uh, Robert Labardi, here again. What is your dream car, lottery win car? Um, I think my dream car, if I won the lottery, would be a McLaren F1. Um, and if it was paired back a bit, it would probably be a McLaren 600 LT. Um, Eight-wheel racer, you are very, very kind. Uh, what tape did you use to cover the chrome strip under the windows? Uh, that was... Um, there's a number of places where that, that do the de-chroming tape. Um, and uh, I got that through Lux Works and SMPS 2012 also do them. I think the, there was a link on the video. If you watch the video, there's a link in the description below that says that one. Uh, Ian, RS3 for 40K or A45S for 50K? Uh, RS3. Bait Runners, new to the channel. Thanks for great content. Bait Runners, uh, welcome. Um, welcome to the Peddlers. We are a crazy community. Uh, Philip Parks, hope members meeting goes ahead. Got tickets. Yeah, so do I because <laughs> I've got tickets. Um, have I ordered my Tesla yet? No, it's Mrs. Petrobras Tesla, and we are uh, not able to order them yet in the UK. Even though you can buy them in America, you can't buy them yet. yet. How long did it take me to build the Lego Chiron, which is just there? About 10 hours. Um, uh, I, I, I'm confident the members meeting will, will be okay. Um, can't say I'm working on currently, but just wanted to say hi to all the peddlers. Footy seven. Hi, mate. Uh, the pipe, Shane Wimble. <laughs> Shane Wimble, you're, you cause trouble on this channel with the questions you ask. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Phil uh, Sheffer, is that the M2 best M car ever? Um, it's right up there. Um, I, I would actually say it's one of the best BMWs ever, actually. Um, Newmark uh, 8 Golf R, nearly 50k with options. Oh, that is a lot of money for a Golf. I've never. I'll let you into a secret, people. I'm not a big golf fan, if I'm honest. I find them a bit a bit plain. Um, that's going to upset lots and lots of people. 
Um, how about doing a fishing review joke? Yeah, I, I don't see the point of fishing. Um, uh, congratulate. Thank you, Wombly Me on Me hitting 90k. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, it was quite a quite a special uh, day when that ticked over. Would you replace my mini JCW? This is from Tom Quigley Art for or to achieve the same fun, or what would I replace it with? Um, well, I tell you what, I what I I drove the new Ford Puma ST this week. The video goes live on Monday at six. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Rick the Spud, legend amongst us. Hello, mate. Uh, my favourite James Bond car chase. Uh, I like the one on the ice um, uh, with the Jaguar, the green Jaguar. That was very, very cool. Um, although it got a bit silly when they drove inside. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Eight, what 80s car would uh, would I EV? Ooh. Uh, choo, choo, choo. Um, I, uh, I would EV a Fiat, um, uh, the little, what was the little two seat, the uh, two seat Fiat, the, oh, come on, come on, help me out, people, a little, the type, Mr. Hughes, Mr. Jonathan Hughes, Jonathan Taff Hughes, <laughs> we are, there's lots of people drinking your beer, my friend. Um, and everyone's asking how you were doing and how many beers we sold. Stick it in the comments. That was it. The X19, Fiat X19 is what I'd what I'd then uh, um, electrify. Yes, who's who's watching Vintage Voltage? And I'll be enjoying it. Um, uh, so we've got two, two new episodes gone out last night and the last week. We've got one more next week, and it's being uh, the whole series is being replayed again on Dmax. I found out this evening. Um, and it's going down really well. We're getting about a quarter of a million views per episode, which is unbelievable. Absolutely amazing numbers. Are we going to get a second series of Vintage Voltage? Maybe. Um, I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> um, what Bond car would I choose? Uh, oh, the, the Lotus Esprit, the white Lotus Esprit that went under the water. Oh, actually, no. The one in the film before, the red one that he went skiing in and put the skis on the back. Absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, fun fact, Aston used that chase. Uh, had, <laughs> really. Um, uh, what have we got? Oh, great. Uh, James Gathercote, glad you're enjoying Vintage Voltage. Uh, yes, the image, it was, it was lovely, actually. Uh, if you ski, do I have a favourite resort? Yes, I do have a favourite resort. Actually, I have two. One in Europe is La Tanya, uh, in the Three Valleys. And in America, Breckenridge. Uh, both absolutely amazing places. Um, uh, you like uh, Paul L Lime? Uh, you like the S3 Saloon drove? Uh, you think I think it's one of the best looking Audis for sure. Um, <laughs> Fiat uh, electrifying a Fiat One Two Six. Uh, yeah, very cool actually. Darren Cottrell, you are so generous. Thank you very very much. Absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. Neil Davis, uh, new subscriber, um, three months in, searching for Audis, loving the channel. Neil Davis, welcome to the peddlers. Um, we are we are, are glad to have you amongst us. Um, uh, who else have we got here? Richard Clark. Hi, Taff. He Taff loves he loves your beer. Richard Clark loves your beer. We'll be buying for a long time to come in normal times. Uh, and oh, so Taff, do you do visits to the brewery? In the comments, please, mate. <laughs> Next beer, I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, this is not opened yet. I've got I've got a couple to go. Uh, oh, Senna F1, what a question. What Capri would you take from the professionals? Firstly, the professionals, what a program that was. It shows your age, that that one, but um, I wouldn't mind. I just, I think Capris are just cool. Best supercar under £100,000, Chris. Uh, I think, I think a used R8 is 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 a good a good buy because it's it's basically an Audi so it's going to be fairly bulletproof. <laughs> Ruprecht I can't possibly say anything about Tim. Um oh oh uh who was that um what's the reg number one blue what's this reg number here that is the reg for uh, my old um caterham which is a picture of it just on the wall up there. Um, it was the registration plate off the front. It's the only thing I have left of it, sadly. Um, um, Shane Wimble, my favourite YouTubers. Um, I uh, car wise, uh, I'm just a big car affection and um, Harry's Garage fan. I'm afraid. Um, 
But I, um, what else do I like? I quite like Vin Wiki. I don't know if you've watched some of the Vin Wiki stuff. Some of the stories and the way he tells the stories, I just find really, really interesting. Dolomite Sprint was an amazing car. Uh, here we go. Jonathan Tafuse. Uh, she's loads. A uh, huge thank you to all you and your subscribers. It really made a difference and helped you get through. Mate, that is the best thing. Paul Sykes, you are so kind. Thank you very much indeed. Um, uh, would I ever buy an MX-5? Yes, but it would have to be the pop-up headlights one. Uh, car creation, ski or snowboard, ski. Uh, Lewis Hunter, uh, have you uh, rose around the Isle of Wight? Uh, no, I do need to do um, uh, go around the Isle of Wight, uh, the Ron Rondone. Um, um, da -da 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 -da. Do I know Archie Hamilton? I don't know him. I've met him a couple of times. Um what are the non car what non car YouTubers do you watch? I really like uh, a guy in America called Brian Tyler Cohen. I watch him a lot. Uh, when's the next Q and A with Mrs. PP? <laughs> I've got to wait for it to curb a wheel. Um, uh, have I driven Harry's garage uh, road? No, I've I've been up um, into the Cotswolds a lot. Um, if I had to spend a day with one of the Top Gear guys, who would it be? Jeremy, James, or Richard? That's from Colt Cleveringer. Uh, it would be um, James May, because the other two are idiots. Uh, Colin Billingham. Can't, oh, oh, I've got, let's go so fast. Uh, who have we got? We've got uh, 270 people on. This is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Um, uh, da, 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 Hasselhoff is auctioning kit. I know. Would I buy the original Knight Rider? Now, I don't know about you, but one of the things I did at school was I tried to make a set of LEDs to do the red light thing to put on the front of my Fiesta. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, uh, oh, Ian, 718 GT4, 718 Spider. Um, well, the, G oh, uh, the Spider, because I like getting the roof down. Um, Latanya is our favourite. Peter Randall, it's a lovely place, absolutely lovely. Latanya, Mark Kenton, love in Wiki. Oh, good, excellent. Um, Dotty F1 2021 champion. I think that will be um, well, if he signs Lewis Hamilton. Um, I think uh, he's just going to be too good. But I, uh, I'd love to see um, a Charles Leclerc do well, actually. Because um, I do like Charlotte. Uh, brewery tours. Jonathan does brewery tours um, when um, um, Corona does one. Um, hi, Ped. If you could collect a car from the factory and drive it home, which factory and what car? I'd, it would be Ferrari, and I would drive home um, uh, a 488 Pista. <laughs> I'm just getting into Harry's garage. Cool. Uh, GR Yaris, or yes, if I can get hold of one. Um, I'm struggling, but um, I, will, I will try and do that very much because it's a car I definitely want to drive. Uh, would you drive an F40, Rick? <laughs> yes, of course. Lee Averson. Oh, my goodness me. Mate, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Harry's Garage is a great channel. Yes. Uh, do I like, like the new Top Gear? Do you know what? Paddy, Freddy and Chris on Top Gear, I think, are at, at times hysterically funny. Um, Lando Norris is getting good. Now, if Lando Norris gets given a car next year that's got any pace, I think he's got a, he's got a real chance. Uh, I'd love to see Danny Rick win an F1 championship. I love Danny Ricardo's uh, approach. I think his positivity is absolutely incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible. Um, uh, have I driven, this is from Focus ST171, have I driven a 2ZZ engine? No, I haven't. <laughs> um, oh, Andrew Barton. Do you know what I'm... How are the father and son getting on with their new minis? I'm not sure, but I did have someone message me last week. They'd driven past the Paddy Hopkirk mini that the, the, the father and son collected up north. And they were like, oh, my God, look, that's the mini from Petrol Bed's video. Um, Cotton Cleveringer, would I own a Lamborghini? Yeah, probably. I, I think a Hurricane's nice. My problem with Lamborghinis is they're not quite big enough for me. Matthew, Matthew Conrad Jones, you are so kind. Thank you very, very much. Just bought me a beer. You are a superstar. Um, yeah, so, um, but there's very special Lamborghini content coming next Friday. Um, what else have we got? Porsche Taycan, is it really that good? Uh, Andy Lindley, yes. Absolutely. It, it, they're phenomenal things. I'd buy the 4S, though. I think the 4S is good enough uh, for most people. Uh, get George Russell in a competitive car, Colin Billingham. Oh, yeah. I mean, look what he did in Lewis's car. That was that was an unbelievable effort, I think, what he did that weekend. Um uh, BW up GTI is ready when you are, Simon David. Oh, I'm there. 
Uh, what do you prefer, RS6 Avant or RS4? Because it's a little bit smaller. The RS6 is just a bit too big for me. Hold on a minute. Graham Coles, don't see much drinking. Keep up. Hold on a minute. There you go. That'll keep you quiet for a bit. <laughs> Favourite car YouTubers, yourself and High Peak Autos, and of course the pups. Oh, mate, you're a star. Uh, uh, do you want to drive Binky? I'd love to. A bit, Project Binky's always mentioned it's got a massive following online. Really, really, it has. Uh, High Peaks, what's my favourite on? Uh, Favourite colour car? Um, uh, car line. Uh, my favourite... My favourite colour is... Volcano orange uh, on a McLaren. I think that's an absolutely stunning color. Roberto Landi, final question. Do I plan any collaboration videos with special guests and Q&A sessions? I've got one coming next Friday. Um, I'm always thinking about collaborations, and I've got, I'm talking to a couple of people at the moment, actually. Um, I don't know if you saw JM on cars. He had an R59 JCW on his channel this week, and I reached out to him this week and said, as soon as I've got brakes fitted to mine, you've got to get mine on the car on the channel because... Mine's better than that one. Favourite Group B rally car? Um, it was, uh, ooh, that's a good question. Probably the Ford RS200 or Metro 6R4. Uh, uh, Andy Rackdiff, do I think the Audi e-tron GT will be better than the Porsche Taycan? Um, it's significantly um, cheaper. Um, I, I'm not sure at the moment, if I'm really honest. Um, can I swap M2 competition bonnet for that CS1 in your stable? They'll never know. No, that, that, Dottie, they will never, ever know. <laughs> uh, Darren Barry, favourite track I've driven around Alton Park. Uh, it's a fantastic circuit. Um, oh, D Dieter Pullen, you've treated yourself to a TTS after the video you watched from me. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, electric cars of the future or merely a stepping stone to hydrogen? I think it's a combination of the two, Ian, if I'm honest. Um, oh, yeah, Jamie Smith. So, yeah, the 787B mug. This one. Um, yeah, so, so that holds a very dear place in my heart because I was at Le Mans the year that that car won and we were staying in the campsite called Maison Blanche, which is just near the, the Porsche curves. And every time that thing went past, it was it woke us up. It was so loud. Uh, Neil Davis, you're six foot six. Would an Audi S3 saloon be big enough and comfortable enough to you to drive? Yes, I think it would because I drove it and I've got very long legs. So my height is in my legs. I've got a 30... Uh, four inch inside leg so there was plenty of room in there most famous celebrity uh in my phone contacts Ooh, that's a really good one actually i don't have many celebrities i have the guy who runs who was the chief rocket scientist in spacex that's quite a good one have i ever been to the cottage tandoori in storrington no is it good um uh eight-wheeled racer just watched joe achilles driving an audi s8 you had for a test. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we were, and I was in that video, I think. Um, Darren Hughes, favourite sounding engine. Uh, that was easy. Aston Martin GT12. I mean, there's no, there's not even a, not even a conversation to be had. Um, and I can't wait to hear the Aston Martin Valkyrie because I think that's going to be the best engine sound ever. Uh, Simon Davy, have I ever had a car crash? Um, I actually. Um, I jumped my dad's uh, Peugeot 309 over a humpback bridge when I was a teenager and ripped the sump off of it. <laughs> and the next, I was with some friends. We'd been to the cinema and we were on the way back. We, we jumped the bridge near my home in Nottingham and we parked my, I parked the car in the garage. And the next morning we woke up early to go to the RAC rally and we pulled the car out of the garage and I went back up to shut the garage door. And there's this big black lake of oil on the floor under the car. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, that, that was he took it well <laughs> he took it well um turbo blue or vegas yellow oh center f1 turbo blue um dickie mcvitty oh that's unfair hyundai i30n or a bath 124 because you've got both uh, a bath 124 i'm afraid mate <laughs> uh, new beer sky but uh, time of davy um da -da -da. let's keep what have we got here we got 274 people on this is unbelievable i'm having such a good time <laughs> Uh, what two door four seat coupe do you recommend for 18th? Oh my god, uh, <laughs> Colin, come uh, uh, can I get back to you on that one? Um, uh, Ian, uh, do I watch Johnny Break, uh, Johnny Smith Late Break Show? Uh, yes, I do. I really like Johnny Smith. Um, he, I, I, I've, I've kind of conversed with him a few times, um, but I'm a big fan. 
really big fan. Um, uh, Octane Parker, how about a European road trip after COVID? I've actually got in the planning uh, uh, some Italian driving and riding, maybe. Um, so, yes, definitely. Uh, Shane Wimble, what's my fondest childhood memory? Wow, that's getting deep, man. Uh, <laughs> really, really young, feeding the ducks. I always used to, my, I used to get taken down at the weekend. I had this little red bag that my mum would put bread in and we'd go down to the local duck pond and feed the ducks. I used to love doing that. Um, uh, hey, don't be afraid. I love it as well. Oh, yeah. That's, okay, good. Um, uh, <laughs> Daff, yeah, I'll oh, make. Oh, yes, me smashing my dad's car up. He was really not happy. Favourite driving song? Um, oh, Darren Hughes. That's a really good one. Now, I... This I I really like driving to a guitarist called Joe Satriani, um, the, and he's got a couple of really great songs on an album called Flying in a Blue Dream, and I just love Joe Satriani to drive to. Um, <laughs> the pipe, Wombles or Banana Spits? Wombles. Uh, oh, Simon Davey, what's my necklace? So um, <laughs> this, uh, it's, I'll tell you a couple of stories. So this, my uh, Mrs. Pepper bought me this on our honeymoon. When I le I learned to scuba dive on a honeymoon, and that my instructor had it's a this is a dolphin fin, and he had a dolphin fin necklace, and and um, she bought me this uh, on our honeymoon. But it's a nightmare because sometimes when I'm recording a video, I'll put a lav mic on on my top here, and I, I actually had to re-record a whole video uh, this week because my necklace was rubbing against my lav mic. Oh, that's there you go, Car Guys TV. I've just explained. It's a little dolphin tail. Um, yeah, Big Bad Moon. Oh, Eight Wheel Racer. Oh, well, you, I know because we've spoken about Joe Satriani. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. Um, uh, so uh, what else have we got? Um, oh, favorite car at the moment. Uh, oh, Alex Gabriel, favorite car at the moment. That's a really good one, actually. Um, Alpha Stelvio Quadrifoglio, great car. Uh, favorite car theme movie apart from the Italian Job. Um, 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 uh, I, I, Le Mans sixty six. Um, I, I've been watching it while I've been riding my turbo this week. Amazing. Have I ever been to Australia? No. Sadly, Lawrence Gat. Lawrence, mate, you are you are one of my mega um uh Australian followers. No, I've not been to Australia. I've been to the uh, New Zealand. <laughs> Um, um, Henry Hole, you love the vintage voltage episode on the MG. Fantastic, Rob Mason. Uh, oh, Rob, good to see you, mate. Thank you for joining us. Um, oh, Ben Roachford, no, you're you're here, my friend. You're here. This is unbelievable. Uh, what's my next car to buy? <laughs> I've not got any. Oh, Tesla Model Y. Um, Jim Hutton. Oh, Ronnie, Jim Hutton. That great, great call. Um. <laughs> yes. Oh, who's that on? Simon Davy, is Tracy getting the clippers ready? If you noticed, I am desperately in need of a of a um, um Craig Blakely. Oh, oh yeah, Craig Blakesley ped A45 S or RS3. We've had that one. Tom Quigley art, Tracy Chapman. Oh yes. What a what an artist. Uh total car reviews. How was the feeling when you landed your first telly job? Um, it was amazing. And and I'll tell you the story behind it. I got approached and, and one of the things you'll find when you do YouTube is you, you start, as you get to a certain size, you start getting lots of uh, emails in and lots of um, requests for things. And, and I got this email in from this TV production company and I very nearly deleted it because I thought it was a wind up. And luckily I didn't. And I had a phone call and then I went for a screen test um and uh yeah it was it was very surreal very very surreal um and i don't know whether I've, i'm pretty sure i've said this before but um i've done all of the screen tests and i went to um to the garage to meet the team and meet moggy um and i'm not sure how many of you know but as i walked into the room moggy and i were on the same course at university 30 years ago um so how's that for a small world uh <laughs> Motorsport and dream cars, Damien. Stop it. A Q and A while Tracy does my hair. Um, Jamie Pickles, uh, dream car. 
I've got so many, to be honest. Um, actually, my dream car would be a really lovely Nick Swift race-prepared classic Mini. Eight-wheeled racer, thank you so much. <laughs> In a question, Joe Satriani or Ingwe Malmsteen? Joe Satriani, every day of the week. Um, uh, uh, yes, Thomas uh, Harris thought, I am desperately trying to get hold of a, uh, a GR Yaris. Uh, sadly, Toyota aren't... Um, being that cooperative at the moment, but hopefully Hendy might be able to sort me out. Um, Peddler's Driving playlist on Spotify. I could be doing that. Yeah. Well, interesting. I'm going to be doing podcasts for the new um, uh, Cycle Sunday uh, series. So um, you never know. We might do that. True or false? Did you get ad revenue if we click past the ads or does it count if we watch it? I, honestly, Casey, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that Google's algorithms would appreciate if you watch the whole advert, and I think you'll get a I'll get a higher uh, PPM rate for that. Um, do I think there's any specific car missing from the current mini range? The only thing I would say they did um like a almost like a speedster concept a few years ago and it's a shame they didn't make that because it looked amazing. Best mountain bike for two thousand pounds, not like Joe Achilles with his five thousand pound rig. Um, I'll uh, Stephen Lee. I'm going to preempt Cycle Sunday. The best mountain bike for two thousand pounds is one that fits you properly. Um, so one of the the, the when I do this Cycle Su Sunday series, we're talking about. Specking now, as it happens, we're talking about specking a road bike, but the principles apply for mountain bikes as well. And the number one priority is to get the best frame you can and make sure it fits you properly. Uh, Colton Cleveringer, Ford GT or Dodge Viper? Whoa, that's hard. I'd quite like a Dodge Viper because they're wicked. Uh, yes, have a word with car guys, really. Yaris, I'm also talking to my friends at Evolve, I'm going to hopefully do something with them. <laughs> Put the gangster hat on in the background. Oh. Hold on. Ow, shy boy. Um, this this is my BXR band. Oh my goodness me! Thank you. Yeah, this is my revival hat. Woo! <laughs> I'll just put that over there. That's enough of that. It's, it's going to be doing me dares now. Uh, how much does it cost to set up a YouTube channel, Rick? Um. Uh, simple answer is the main thing you need is a camera, a video camera. So when I started YouTube, I spent a couple of hundred pounds on a camcorder and I had an old GoPro that I bought to do track days and that was it. And I used free editing software and I did that for maybe a year. Um, what happens is you end up spending lots and lots and lots of money on camera equipment eventually. Um, what else have we got? What are the thoughts on the new Intelli uh Peter Curtin... Thoughts on the new intelligent speed adaptation coming on the new cars? Uh, you can turn it off. It's opt in, I believe, but I'm not massively um, up on that one, I have to say. Um, do I watch Yanni? I, I do, actually. Not not mega regularly, but I do quite like what he does. Uh, Paul Lynn, uh, Bentley or Roller, uh, Rolls Royce. Uh, Matt 150, good day. Pete from, uh, Matt from Australia. Wow, we've got another Australia. That is amazing. Don't you find that amazing that, that someone in the other end of the world is watching? Um, Simon Davey, good evening, sir. His dinner's ready. Uh, what action cam would you recommend? Now, I've got an old, my cameras, oh, uh, oh they're, they're not here. Um, they're quite old now. I'm going to upgrade them. Uh, I uh, My biggest recommendation would be uh, don't bother filming in 4K. Uh, just film in 1080 and that, that should be fine. If I could have one of Shmi's collection, which one would it be? Uh, either the Senna or the GT8. Um, uh, yes, uh, Motorsport and Dreamcast. Damien, you are very correct. Sound is very, very important. Um, so, yeah, good camera equipment is good, but good mics is really important. Um, why Tesla Model Y and not the new Ford electric car, which I've talked to Hendy, I'm going to get on the channel very soon. Uh, charging infrastructure and range are the two main reasons, uh, I'm afraid. Do I watch TG TV? No. Uh, any hobbies outside of cars that I do, Darren? I love playing golf. Uh, I love walking my dogs. And I'm a big, big cyclist. Uh, they are my main passions outside of YouTube. Uh, do I think Boris is doing a good job? I'm going to be controversial here. I say absolutely I do. Yes. Um, I think it's very easy for people to say, with hindsight, oh, you should have done this or you're not making a decision fast enough. But I think... 
I wouldn't want his job for all the tea in China. Um, and I think he's doing all right. I, I don't think anybody would be perfect. Um, watching live in Dubai. Andrew, what did I love Dubai? I go, I used to go to Dubai a lot with work. I haven't been there obviously the last, last year, but hopefully we'll be back soon. I do love Dubai. Uh, Graham Muir, what's my golf handicap? Official handicap is 20. Uh, but I, when I was playing regularly, I played off of nine. So if this was a sombrero, it would be me. Eba, eba, andere. Uh, by any coincidence, only thing reminding the first car owned. Uh, Shane Wimble, um, money no issue. What road bike would I go for? Watch Cycle Sunday because we're building a, my, a road bike. Money no issue. It's, honestly, mate, I can't tell you too much. But Cycle Sunday, even if you don't like bikes, Cycle Sunday is going to be awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, uh, there's just a few things. Uh, uh, Andy Lambert, sweet or savoury? Savoury. Um, Dickie McVitty, if uh, anything can do better than Boris, then this should step forward. I agree. Uh, oh, can only keep one bike or cars. Which one? I, do you know, bikes, this bike here, um, bikes bikes get into your soul when you do a big bike ride and i've rode up one two three times on that i've done some big sportives they get into your um into your soul, and therefore you just don't want to get rid of them so bikes are they, they really do <laughs> cheers yeah that's it uh, am i going to see moggy again soon yes i'm going to see him next week <laughs> um e40 life with cars um hello mr america Suspect Senna is uh, going in the future, yeah. Well, maybe Shmi could sell it to me for, I don't know, 50 grand. Uh, total car reviews. What's the view on YouTube as buying cars every two seconds? I think it's ridiculous and it's irresponsible. And you have to be very careful because very often some of those cars will be on deals or they'll be, um, uh, they'll be kind of manufacturers' uh, funded cars. They're not necessarily all bought with their own money. So just be really careful. I think it's... Very, very irresponsible because little kids this big think that you can grow up, have a YouTube channel and buy a supercar and it's just an utter load of rubbish. Thoughts on electric bikes? I definitely want to review one. I think that'd be brilliant. Uh, do I think Foz will happen this year? Max Hodgson. Uh, yes, I do. Um, uh, Martin Blackmore. Bianchi or Villiers? Uh, Bianchi. Watch Cycle Sunday. Do I think Jamie Chadwick in F1 will boost interest? I think Jamie Chadwick would be awesome in F1. I really, really do. Um, uh, do you like the grills on the new BMWs? Carmen, they are growing on me. That's all I need to say. Uh, is that Cephas? Uh, how many miles do I drive a year? I think probably 30,000 miles a year. Um, last experience on a bike was 40 miles an hour around a blind bend into a park car. Oh, ow, Ian, ow. Um, uh, Jagman7, do I keep my bikes inside? Uh, yes and no. Some of them are outside, some of them are inside. They're in a, in a, a, a locked storage container. Do I buy cars outright, Rick? Uh, yes and no. My Mini was bought outright. My Roadster was bought outright. My Clubman's on finance. Uh, total car reviews, what do I think makes content successful? I think you need to enjoy what you're doing and I, need to, I think you really need to engage with the audience. You need to look through the camera and talk to the audience um, and try and just be yourself. Don't try and be somebody else because it never works when you do that. Um, <laughs> but Martin Blackmore, BMW uh, 335 Touring or Audi S4 Van. I've got a video on the channel. Watch it. Um, how do you uh, do you cycle any events around Goodwood Circular? No, Matty, I didn't actually, um, but I plan to next year. Goodwood are doing some cool things with cycling this year, hopefully. Uh, wow. Would I be interested in designing a three-wheel touring bike, A-wheel race? Yeah, well, yes, because I know where that's coming from. That would be quite interesting. Uh, Phil Bonner, uh, opinion on Hoobie's Garage YouTube channel. Never watched it. <laughs> Sorry. I know who he is, but I've never watched it. It doesn't float my boat at all. Uh, do you think sometimes at this time of year, why did I buy a white silver mini? Look, Andrew, uh, at this time of year, all, all cars look absolutely covered. Um, oh, uh, Thomas Sneed, yes. News of Jade Edwards joining BTTC. Uh, finally think this is a turning point. I think that is a brilliant, brilliant thing for Jade. Um, amazing. Uh, Andrew Barton, what's the most you've spent on a bike? 
bike pounds, 500 pounds, obviously. £4,000. Well, £4, <laughs> um, oh, hold on, hold on. I need to keep drinking beer. Hold on, sorry. What's the furthest distance I've ridden on a bike in a day? 132 miles, dragon ride. Um, and did I have a BMX back in the day, Shane Wimble? No, uh, you've touched on a very sore point there. My parents bought me a rally grifter about six months before the BMX craze became a thing. And because I had a new bike, I wasn't allowed a BMX and I was absolutely gutted. Um, I, I, hi, Pete. I missed the guy from the Reunion Islands that's off Madagascar, worthy of note. Wow, who was that? Um, uh, do I watch Archie Hamilton? Archie Hamilton, um, I, I just think he needs to do more motor racing content because that is amazing. What he doesn't need to do is all the clickbait rubbish he does. Um, did I have a chopper? No, I had a I had a grifter. I was a grifter boy. Um, yeah, no, the honestly, Cycle Sunday. I know I keep digging it up, but it is going to be very, very special. Very, very. They were the, the grifters were heavy, but I jumped eleven people on my grifter. Um, that's my claim to fame. Um, oh, boxer, oh, boxers were cool. Uh, see, all the you're all showing your age now because you all had grifters and stuff. Andy Ratcliffe. Can I actually feel the difference between the tire makes on a normal road car? Um, I I think you can in some some extent. You have to be pushing on a bit, but but I just think the the really high end tires. Yes, I think you can. Uh, lots of grifter people. Come on, uh, that I I I would you know in terms of rally chopper, I would love to buy a proper vintage rally chopper. I just think that would be amazing. Uh, Colton Clevering, a favourite place I've been to in the USA, um, San Diego. I utterly, utterly love San Diego and La Jolla, which is just next to San Diego. Um, and what was really cool, I was working there. I was doing some work with Nokia. Um, uh, uh, sorry, with um, uh, Qualcomm, because they've got a big, a big office in, in San Diego. And I flew in and drove past a big sign for Miramar. And I'm a massive Top Gun fan. And I ended up having to go and see Miramar. And I found um, Kelly McGillis's house and stuff. Lee Averson, <laughs> again, come on, man. You just, you were, that's so kind. Uh, what's the worst brand new car I've ever driven? Um, a Vauxhall Insignia, um, and it only had like a 1.8 petrol, and it was dangerously gutless, basically. Um, biggest gripe with YouTube, total car reviews. Um uh, oh, I know, jump cuts. I hate jump cuts. Uh, that, they absolutely do my head in. Uh, Brendan Fleming, you love San Diego as well. And I went to SeaWorld. We did the um, trainer for a day at SeaWorld. That was an amazing experience. Uh, would I ever be a presenter on Top Gear if I had a... I would absolutely... Andrew Barton, I would just... That's my dream. Um, maybe not necessarily Top Gear, but, but a proper presenter on TV would be incredible. Um uh what, what's the time we've got 15 minutes left uh, what's the worst maddest road you've ever driven on um i can't think of one actually but is the uh it's like the t-shirt slogan when i die i hope my wife sells my bikes for what i told they cost yes stephen bennett that's the most true thing that and n plus one um top gear or fifth gear top gear but uh the new one uh coolest car key I uh, quite like the big, massive, great big BMW ones. They're quite cool. Favourite BTCC hero, John Cleland. Um, Favourite car YouTube guy, uh, Henry Catchpole. Um, <laughs> oh, God, so this is a mega. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, he won for it. Uh, TV presenter on TV. I, I love cars. Yes, if you're, if you're listening, I'd love to be on Love Cars. Um, used to get free beer at SeaWorld. Uh, what's the number plate on the screen? Oh, that's my old Caterham's number plate. Um, yes, I have. Uh, Vincent Barnes been to Le Mans uh, a couple of times. The but for both bikes, bike Le Mans really good actually, and for cars, uh, amazing experience. Um, uh, da -da -da, talking of bikes, I had a rally mag burner. Oh yes. Now my favourite burner was. Um, uh, yeah, Magba. Did he have Skyway mags that you used to be able to put in the freezer and reset them? Uh, <laughs> favourite road in the UK that isn't the petrol ped hill climb. <laughs> that is my favourite road. Uh, so I'm not sure, actually. Um, 
Oh! <laughs> oh! Come on, hold on. Mrs. Come, 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 come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I guess he's arrived. Come and sit down here, look. Say so you could probably... <laughs> Mrs. Petropad's joined us. Yeah, seriously, I'm not quite sure who it was on Instagram. Just sent me a message saying, Petrol Pad looks really thirsty. <laughs> yeah, this is the service you get in this house. <laughs> See, look, they're all loving you. Woohoo, Mrs. Petrol Pad's joined us. Then we got nearly 300 people live oh. Oh all over God. the world. No! <laughs> You've just made everybody's yeah, day. It's really great to see you all. Have you curved my wheels recently? Yeah, no. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Look, look, it's got, there we go. So I didn't can you bring the dogs in? No. <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna Yeah, look, loads of Mrs. Petra Fed. 300 people drinking and having a whole bunch of fun. This is amazing. <laughs> Uh, have I driven the Nurburgring? Now, this is a very, very bad petal head. I've not driven the North Shark, and I need to do that. So, yes. Um, I, yeah, boy, boy Step 7, I think she's a babe too. Um, my next upgrade on my car has got to be brakes on the Mini. Uh, yes, um, Tom Quigley, I'm, we've missed our uh, South of France trip this year massively, I have to say. Um did I find the Velar steered unresponsibly? I only drove it for 20 minutes and it was a long time ago, so I can't remember actually. Um, finally, a safe person on the channel. Um, yeah, the lanyards. So there's two things that I, I, I kind of um, uh, I collect. One is lanyards. So whenever I go to any event, I collect all my lanyards up there. But then you can't make it out. But this here, this is a line of. Um, they're called swingers, but let me get one and show you. So when you go to a Goodwood event, if you get into the um, uh, hospitality area, you get these little swingers. And, and actually, this is a genius idea. I might give, at the, uh, on the next Midweek 180, I might give away a swinger. Uh, this is actually a race course, um, a horse racing membership swinger. But I'll, I'll, I'll give away some swingers. Um, See, so yeah, no, not that kind of swinger. Brendan, <laughs> there's always one. <laughs> so yeah, so that on that on that um, thing there, that is a swinger from every Festival of Speed members meeting and revival since 2009. Every single one. Um, <laughs> I've got loads of questions. Pete, have you met Ray Grimes, who's one of the senior instructors? Um, not that I'm aware of, but I might have done. Uh, what we need is a uh, peddler cycling tour. But Graham, we are going to do, um, we're actually going to do uh, a peddler cycle meet. Carl Lamb, thank you so much. Um, yeah, we're going to do, we're going to do some cycling actually. Um, uh, swinging baby, yeah. Thinking <laughs> of buying a first gen Range Rover Evoque, yes or no? I really like the Range Rover Evoque actually. Um, yes, uh, Pampas Grass on the front guard. What? <laughs> Match Hudson, what? I don't, I don't get that. Uh, sleeping Death, hi. Uh, Simon Davies, still happy with the red rear lights and ruby. Yes, I am. I'm delighted. Really, really delighted. Uh, socially distanced meet and greet. Yes, definitely, Nick. Uh, Colton, is there a plan for me, Joe, and Steph to do a collaboration road trip video? We've been trying to plan that for a long time. Yes, we do want to do something um, for sure. Uh, which mainstream car manufacturer would I not miss if they went out of business? San Yong. Can anybody explain to me Sanyong and who in their right mind would walk into a Sanyong showroom and go, oh, that's a good car. I'll buy one of them. Um, <laughs> so, um, Fraser Marks, I. Oh, wow. You've joined, signed up for the Navy. That's amazing. Good luck, mate. You're going to have an amazing time. Absolutely incredible. Um, uh, Blue Mini, what will I do when I hit 100K? I'm planning... Uh, uh, I'm going to do like a, some some really special videos, I think, um, hopefully. Uh, Phil Bonner, what's next upgrade on Charlie Clubman? Mud flaps. <laughs> I'm just giving away and I can't believe I've just said that. Uh, when COVID calms down, can we have another uh, go at a petrol pet? Yes, we are. Ben Sharp, we've talked about it already. Definitely going to do another one. Uh, am I going to arrange a car, mate? Yes. Alfa Romeo 4C or Alpine want to I'd need to drive an A110, to be honest. Oh, Richard, uh, my pleasure for teaching during lockdown. I'm doing quite a lot of that at the moment. 
Uh, what else have we got? Um, what plans have I got for the M2CS? Well, I'm 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 doing some work away with one of my clients this week, so I'm going to be driving it to Wales actually. Um, <laughs> I did, but so yeah. So Mrs. Petroped promised me a very nice bottle of brandy when I hit 10k, and and it's long overdue. <laughs> um, I can't believe someone Instagrammed her and said, "Bring him a drink." That's absolutely genius. Uh, yes, we could do that. Actually, we could do a meter uh, low and do the breaks, and you can. Um, I can meet your mini at the same time. Um, as I'm, uh, am I going to get an Alpha GTA to review? Uh, I will be very much talking to my good friends at Alpha Mayor for that. Uh, will I ever get that expensive bottle of booze? We'll see. I hope so. When does the bike channel go live? Uh, when? Where can we see it? So it will be on the normal Petroped channel uh, on at six o'clock on a Sunday. Um, we've actually filmed uh, quite a few of the episodes, but we're just waiting for a few things. So I'm basically building this dream bike, and we're just waiting for when we know that's going to happen, and then I'll work backwards. But it will be within the next, I don't know, next month probably, um, and it's it's well worth waiting for. Honestly, I think it's going to be <laughs> yes, Stephen Ramsey, Sanyong Rodius, what? what an ugly car uh favorite lockdown pastime um just drinking really um <laughs> oh, shane it was you oh brilliant thank you <laughs> you you told tracy to bring me a uh, drink me a beer um uh what else have we got uh, am i into motorbikes at all uh brenda fleming i love motorbikes i love the engineering and the beauty of motorbikes but when I left home, my dad gave me two golden rules to live my life by. He said, he said, PT, you can do anything you like, but do either of these two things and I'll never speak to you again. The first one was get a girl pregnant before I was married. And the second one was buy a motorbike. Um, so, yeah, I and, and, and I think I'd get an instant divorce if I bought a motorbike. And honestly, I mean, I, I can do I've done 56 miles an hour on that thing. So I would be lethal on a motorbike. I have no sense of my own. Um, own uh, mortality uh, uh asam do i like jigsaws we love jigsaws i'm a big jigsaw fan actually um uh ads dean uh, jaguar ipace audi e-tron mercedes eq I, I haven't driven the mercedes but the ipace is very good but let me let me drive that i the e-tron i've got parked outside for three weeks and then i'll tell you uh would i do a collaboration with shmi seen through glass supercars of london matt armstrong um I would love to. Um, I, I, it's really interesting when you are a channel, to, you get asked to do collaborations all the time. It has to be a sim It has to be good for both of you. Uh, I really like Sam from Seen Through Glass. I'd love to do something with him. Uh, Tim, he's so massive as a channel. I don't know whether he'd be interested in doing anything for me, but I'd, I'd still love to do that. Um, yeah, Fraser Marks, would you review your dad's BMW M235 convertible? Of course I would um when am i going to do a live again as i've had a great night simon i don't know this is great fun i mean the, the, i have to say the new tool that, that youtube gives me to be able to go live is is real criterium cycles <laughs> my friend criterium cycles um uh that's my partner that we're doing cycle sunday with guys honestly it's going to be awesome um Andrew Wadden, uh, what was Tiff like to work with? I'd met Tiff quite a few times before I worked with him. He is a true pro. He does an awful lot of reading and research before he does uh, anything to camera. And I really enjoyed working with him. And hopefully I'll work with him again. Uh, am I going to do any more peddlers rides? Uh, maybe. Um, uh, it's just a case of, of the ones I've got, how I, I will work in with them. But um, we will see. Um, hello from Roland's Castle, Jason Beckett. Um, uh, the pie, thank uh, Stay safe, my friends. Stay safe. Uh, Aston Martin DB5 or E Type Jag DB5. <laughs> Although they're both beautiful, aren't they? Let's face it. I mean, that is a proper first world problem. Which one of those do you want? <laughs> have I driven the Abarth 124? Yes, there's a review on the channel. Uh, I have driven it, and it, it's one of my favorite little cars because you can absolutely rag the nuts off it, and it's just brilliant. What non car related TV program would I like to present? Country file, <laughs> country file, or the repair shop. I think they're both brilliant. Um, 
Uh, Steve Luck, uh, my pleasure, my friend. I'm glad you had a good one. Um, Octane Park, a great end to a crap week. Hopefully next week will be better, mate. <laughs> um, no, put it in the comment. Would you like me to do more of these? Because this is honestly, I'm having such a great time. I can't believe how many people are on it. What music do I like listening to in the car? Um, I, I, <clears throat> I quite like country and western, actually. Um, I'm a big country fan. Uh, Bob Harris uh, country is just great. Um, do you want to test your car? Um, ben Roachford just messaged me. Of course, I'll test it. Uh, got to take the pup, pup for a walk. Ian, thank you for joining me. Um, mate, <laughs> yeah, oh, great. Everyone likes it. It's brilliant. Uh, op opinion on the BMW 1M. What a car. <laughs> Come on, it was amazing. Um, drive or review the Fiat 595 Amarth. I presume that's Amarth. Uh, yes, um, I've done, I, I love a little uh, 595 or 695. Um, Roger Bailey, Mr. Porsche, how are you? Have I missed much? Yes, you've missed a whole hour and we're just about to finish, mate, but never mind. <laughs> Nirvana, Simon W. Oh, yes. Uh, smells like teen spirit. What a what a tune. Absolutely, what a tune. Absolute banger. Um, uh, my goodness me. Any chance of getting your hands on a 128 ITR? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, my good. I've got loads coming through. Darren Hughes, uh, could, could you do Q&A again, please? Yes. Um, uh, is that Mrs. Petrolped? Uh, uh, no, that's me. <laughs> this is that's me. <laughs> I used to event. I used to do three day eventing. Um, are the miniature schnauzers the best dog ever? Yes, absolutely. Um, favorite circuit we've done that Alton Park. Um, so uh, guys, I'm gonna, I'm rapidly approaching an hour. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits because I did say I do I do up to an hour, and I don't want to I don't want to flog a flog a dead horse too far. But um, I I am oh no, <laughs> Paul Bisfal, you've only just arrived. We're just about to finish, mate. Bisfal, owner of the six seven five LT and the lovely Type forty nine Lotus, uh, amazing. Um, yeah, so um, maybe I'll do one of these. Well, like Col Colton, yeah, maybe every month, Friday Night Live, at the end of the month, maybe the last Friday of the month, we'll do one of these. Um, if I could choose my own race number, what would it be? 28, because that's the first number I raced under, I think. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna raise my glass. Oh, look, hold on a minute. Let me just do, let me just, I've got to finish my beer. Um, we're going to raise my glass to my absolutely wonderful peddlers. To you guys, you are you are the reason I do this channel. I love you all very, very much. I've grown a, an amazing community. Um, Entry-level sports car, MX-5 probably, to be honest. Um, I'm still seeing, <laughs> still seeing questions coming in. Um, I'm going to raise my glass to my wonderful peddlers. Um, I, I'll put it this way around. It's a bit of, bit of branding. Look. Um, to Snowden Craft Beer, you are amazing. Um, and you motivate me every day to book press cars to get my camera out to to film um make sure you tune in on monday i've got i've got two amazing videos next week monday night at six is the ford puma st and it's a mega car i've just finished the edit literally about a half an hour before i came on this and then on friday on friday uh we are going to be asking you for your help um, and I'm going to be I'm, I'm going to give you the opportunity to do something that I don't think any YouTube channel has done. And honestly, it is sensational. I'm not going to give any more away than that. But Friday at six is one of the coolest things I've done yet in the five years of YouTube. Um, so um, I am going to uh, raise my glass. Stay safe, people. Please follow all the government guidance. Wear your mask, social distance, wash your hands, stay safe. I uh, love you very, very much. I'm going to neck this now. <sighs> there you go. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Uh, amazing. And thank you to all those people who've donated as well. That's so, so generous and so kind. Guys, take care. Love you.